Although he doesn't seem very... friendly, merchants are usually a good source of information, right? Pardon me, sir. I'd like to ask a question, if I may. That depends. How much are you willing to pay? How about this much? Ugh, what do you take me for? Some lowly beggar? Ugh, you can't even buy half an onion with that amount. Uh, surely an onion can't be that expensive, right? Eh, uh, what do you know? War is nearly upon us. Everything costs several times what it did before. If you're not gonna buy anything, then scram. Whoa, what a nasty guy. Maybe we shouldn't even bother talking to him. Hmm, but he still might have information we need. Uh, Traveler, can you think of something? A performance? I've never played a role-playing game like this before, but even I can tell that suggestion is pretty far-fetched. Is a performance check really going to help here? Um... All right. Ahem. By the harbor's grace, a lone boat lies in rest. Let the moon give chase, for here begins our quest. In the dark of shadow, our heroes seek to find where creatures born of evil weave their grand design. Blocked the road does stand, such is our hunter's plight. Yet with sword and courage in hand, they march forth to pierce the night. <laughs> I don't recall asking for a bardic song. Don't expect me to give you any coin. But if you meant what you sang, and you are indeed some kind of hunter, then by all means, please, go out and kill those monsters for us. Those monsters are camped outside the city, and they've been destroying all our trade routes. We have limited reserves within the city, so if this continues, we're all gonna be in big trouble. Wait, you're saying no one has put a plan in place to distribute supplies or maintain order? <laughs> We could all starve, and those nobles in the palace wouldn't even break a sweat. Who knows? Maybe they've been in cahoots with the monsters all along. That is concerning. Yeah, all right, I think I've said more than enough. Be on your way now. Got it. Uh, thank you, sir. Don't mind him, Farina. He just doesn't have enough taste to appreciate your art. Uh, no. I was just thinking about... How those nobles must be so cold-hearted. It's like they don't care about their people at all. <laughs> 